everybody. I'm getting started on a client session. I've got some awesome session goals. I'm going to read these and get started. Some of this, number four in particular, uh, I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing all these constellation and alpha star names, but I'm gonna try, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna read the goals now. Can we please explore the significance, any unlocking, activation, knowledge, etc., of the points below in relation to myself and my sacred path to share with the whole existence. Thank you. Okay, number one. The number combination 17546. Okay, so I'm going to tune into the frequency of this number combination and then explore your relationship with this frequency. This is going to be interesting. Okay. The letter combination AAA. Number three, black dots in white area of the left eye about six to eight in a round half circle around iris. Okay. All right. Number four, constellations and their alpha stars. You guys ready for this? Okay. Ursa minor, Polaris. Ursa Major, Dub Hay, Draco, Thuban, Canis Major, Sirius, Canis Minor, Prokion, Orion, Betelgeuse. <laughs> okay, it's not about how we pronounce the words. It's about the meaning and the frequency that exists beneath the surface of the words themselves. And yes, I will totally tap into this. All right, number five is a full opening of crown chakra. This is like so dynamic and different. This is so creative. Okay, let me just just take it all in here. We're going to start with the number combination 17546. Okay, I'm going to start there and we're just going to work our way through, okay? Okay. This number combination is got um, awkward steps to it, okay? There's some stress and it actually, it's, it is already tuned into your crown. So I feel a relationship with your crown chakra and this number combination, but it almost feels like a hit beneath, um, like below the belt. <laughs> But it's actually like right around, there's the belly button, just below the belly button, this whole like lower abdomen area, there's pressure. It's not necessarily uncomfortable, it's just felt. So your sacral chakra and your root chakra. Just a second, there's stress here. I just keep um, seeing a person and they're on the harp strings of the universe. And they're asked to kind of dance um, along these harp strings. And sometimes they don't gauge the distance between the strings quite right. And so there's some um, challenges with balance um, and things get very awkward. <laughs> so you look like you're going to slip and fall into the abyss of the universe. Um, but you never do. You somehow find your stance again and then you keep going. But you're making up the song as you go. So it's your song. And that's what they're showing me about this number combination. They want me to look at your crown chakra next. Your crown chakra is kind of like, so a heart beats, right? So it's pumping blood. This is like a purple heart that is, um, it's kind of like breathing, inhaling and exhaling. It's not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> It's not, okay, nobody told this heart how to express itself, so it found its own way of expressing itself, so it's doing what it thinks is the right thing to do, because nobody told it or directed it, it had to find a direction inside of itself, and its direction said that I need to do this and and that's my, my intuition and that's my instinct. When I look at the harmony of this choice, the choice isn't quite right. It's sort of like you could um, 
eat off of dirty dishes. There's nothing wrong with eating off of dirty dishes. However, there's something more harmonious, um, something more self-loving even, than cleaning off what was food from a previous meal and starting with a fresh plate. So is it that bad to eat off of a dirty dish? Some people will be like, um, yeah, it's disgusting. Other people are like, well, it's, it's, it's an option. I mean, you're not going to die from it, you know? <laughs> so where's the harmony here? So it's kind of like in that gray area of, well, it's fine. I mean, it works, but also it could be, it could, it could use some guidance. Okay. <laughs> Your crown chakra can use some guidance. Um, when it when it is connected to this number pattern and its own identity, what we're talking about right now. Okay. The next thing I am to do with the crown is I have to, it's going to have to let go of what it thinks is reality. Which is very, very hard, how do you let go of reality? <laughs> because that's all you ever know and have ever known is reality based on your perception of things. So how does anybody let go of that? Good thing is your crown chakra is interconnected with the energetic universe. So it's a little bit of a different rule. There's different rules there when it comes to reality. You can change reality in a snap of the fingers. It just feels like stubbornness. It's not wanting to change. And it's getting angry and frustrated. I start playing the sounds of the number combination. And it gets even angrier at me for doing that. It tells me I don't know anything. And it slaps me across the face. And I say, what is it that makes you uncomfortable? Because it's not me. It's not the numbers. It's something that you're not looking at inside yourself. I just happen to be a catalyst. An opportunity for you to find that information to heal it. So that you can grow. This is creating so much stress on your crown. It's got a child it's got a childish um, energy. It, it's not wanting to grow up. Just an aspect of it, not your whole crown, just an aspect of it that we that I'm called to look at. It's like a kid that it's time for you to move out of the house, son. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I, it isn't time. I don't have a job. I have nowhere to go. You can't kick me out. <laughs> it's like it doesn't want to grow up to the next level in life. It's holding itself back. Again, it comes back to this number combination. This number combination, again, it's awkward. It's not, um, it's not an easy one to work with. One, seven, five, four, six. There's a, you have to work through the steps. You're going to have to make your own music. You're creating your own dance. You're going to be challenged along the way because a lot of this is your own inspiration. You having to guide yourself. You creating yourself. You working through your own reality. Um, but the cool thing is you're never going to fall into the abyss of the universe. You might feel like it. But you will find your footing again. And in this relation with the crown chakra, there's vulnerability in the crown chakra because it's all about it's grasping higher wisdom. Higher wisdom to support through the process of this, this music and this dance. And there's resistance. There's fear of, of mature, maturing beyond the current growth. Um, because a lot of it isn't understood yet. What is beyond this point? It's, it's not something that is able to be seen. So, 
I know sacral chakra and root were, were also a part of this. I also want to just check on your third eye because this too is important. I mean, all your chakras are going to be important with this. But let's just, I feel like going to your third eye before anything else. Ah. Uh, all right, so we're talking about an energetic alignment here based on this frequency of numbers. And your third eye is not paying attention. <laughs> third eye, though, is looking for something. So its focus is on not looking at the bigger picture, but looking at one thing or looking for something. It's something that it forgot where it put it. That's what it's acting like. So the eye is actually inside your mind looking around for something. It can't remember where it put it. And so it's missing out on everything else that it could be looking at right now. I feel like it's a it's a deception. There's nothing that you need to be looking for. Because everything is already within yourself. So you really are just choosing a distraction from what is the ultimate goal. Which is ascending beyond this view. Um, growing beyond the current point of self-discovery, okay? This is creating a lot of pressure in the third eye because there's change going on here. I'm going to look at the letter sequence AAA, okay? Huh. It is weird. Oh, it is weird. Just give me a minute with it. AAA, it's, uh, it's got a fruity flavor. It's like people who like chocolate or people who like, um, Skittles. It's more Skittles, okay? It's got a fruity, lots of different colors, lots of different tastes, and it's on the fruitier side. It's also what is the beginning of a garden. It's got a Garden of Eden type feel, but it's a garden in the making. It's growing. It needs somebody to tend to it. It needs guidance. However, it's a really great beginning. It's a really great start. It's like Mother Earth is overgrown in all her beauty. Um, and now the human comes and the human feels inspired with purpose to tend to the garden, even to create a garden that has some sort of energetic meaning to the human. Now it's landscapes. Now it's, um, you know, flowers are planted and trees and bushes are planted in a certain way. And it has this total effect to it. So to walk through this garden, it's, a, it's almost magical because the human decides um, how they want to experience that garden. And the earth provides um, and happily provides the experience for the human. So this is like an untamed garden. Um, in, in all of its beauty and all of its glory with all of its colors and all of its fruity flavors, okay? Um, now there's what is the missing of the component. The human that is, has purpose, okay? Um, the human's purpose is inspired by this garden. In order to... Um, work and mold and shape the garden into um, a sanctuary that that nurtures the spirit of the human because somehow the movement of the trees and the bushes and the way things grow um, creates a, what is the word an aesthetic experience that is uh, artistic creative the human um, worked with the earth to shape it into an experience um, so that is what AAA is showing me. I, I'm supposed to pause right here. Believe it or not, you're a little thrown off. It's almost like somebody put, put the symbols together before you were ready and it startled you. And so you're taking in the meaning of the number sequence and the AAA. You're also exploring the feeling of the crown, the third eye, root, I mean, your other chakras, but pri primarily crown and third eye. And you're a little surprised. Like a little surprised in a 
wow, that just sounds like a lot of work to me type of way. <laughs> I say, so you're guided, you feel, um, you feel a pull towards work, a pull towards creating your own experience. It's going to be awkward. It's going to take time. It's going to take work. But there's something that your internal essence likes about this. The process of growing, of transforming, of creating. So it's work, but you enjoy it. You enjoy the work. Even if it's awkward and complicated, you like the challenge. However, you do have a part of yourself, like in the, in the crown, in the third eye, that, that kind of wants a little bit more smooth sailing, a little bit more... Um, obvious, like, uh, reveal it, just place it before me, let it be obvious. There's a little of that energy going on behind the scenes. That's why it's like, oh man, that sounds like a lot of work. Can't there just be something a little bit more straightforward for me to work with? How about you? How about your straightforward? If I look into these goals, this is what I see. This is straightforward. This is something for you to work with. This is something for you to be like, wow, I'm kind of cool. I'm a cool person. I am intrigued by these types of frequencies. And this is what the frequencies mean. That's interesting. That makes you an interesting person, a unique person. It's cool. I'm going to look at your eyes. Okay, your left eye. It was six to eight black dots. Black dots and white area of the left eye. Six to eight of them in a round half circle around iris. Got it. Okay. Okay, this is totally different energy. Totally different. I mean, this is straight up not even in the same, um, same wavelength at all. Totally different. The energy is much slower. It's it's liquidy. It's like um, it's like putting lots of eye drops in your eye, and having super clear eyes. You know, <laughs> it feels like moisture. Let's call it moisture. I experience the energy of moisture, and clean and cleanse and wash it away, washing away the dirt. And the cleaner it starts to feel, the more moisturized it starts to feel, I'm able to go into that energy. Okay, this is, this is, this is complicated. <sighs> there starts to develop energetic symmetry. But it's not what you think. It's not like your mate, your like let's say there's a line that goes straight through your head, but then it curves around. Um, to the left side, okay? Um, but your symmetry has, it's not like straight lines, okay? Like, like I, I, I'm cut in half and there's my right and left sides. No, it's, it's not the typical symmetry. It's like cutting your pizza into um, a circle, a triangle shape, um, you know, like cutting into different shapes. Uh, it's not the, the typical symmetry that you would anticipate cutting a pizza into. So you have unique symmetries um, that have to do with your interconnection with different dimensions. That's all I can say as of right now about that, but there's a lot to look at here. Oh man, it's beautiful. Um, the next thing is a very, I mean, the energy of moisture and the element of water is very, very obvious here. And there's a beautiful feminine energy here as well. She is like pure restoration, rejuvenation, restore. Restore of health, of mind, body, spirit. And she works specifically with the element of water. I mean, she would even work with the ocean energy. She would work with the energy of lakes, ponds. She would work with the energy of rain. She would work with any energies having to do with water. And water in all its unique properties and placements. 
She even um, sees water as placed in specific geographical locations because that is the most divine place, that is the most perfect place for that water to exist on planet Earth and for the people that um, live near that water. The water itself radiates vibrations that are healing for everybody. And what's interesting, I look at a big city and there's water and people are have no idea how the water is constantly communicating with them, whether they're right next to the water or not. Um, the water has this energetic um, vibration that goes and 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 reaches the people. And the water is constantly circulating new energy information from the atmosphere, from the sky, from the clouds, from the rain, from the winds that bring information from other parts of the planet. I mean, even meteor meteorites um, that fall from the sky that land in the water, they, they share properties from the universe. So the water is collecting all this information and sharing it with everybody. It becomes part of the air we breathe. It becomes part of the rain that falls. Like her connection with water is so such an essential component of her identity. And she exists in your left eye. Um, and she is interconnected with this um, exploration. There's so much more to it than that, okay? All right. I'm just going to chill out here. This is everything I can tell you for right now. It is so cool and so many cool, like it's so much good stuff to work with. I'm just still, I'm just bringing all the energies into balance and harmony. <sighs> Thank you so much for such a unique accession and experience. I have a feeling anybody who watches this video, I think we're all going to I mean, everybody's going to be like, whoa, that was so cool. <laughs> I'm saying, whoa, that's so cool. And I'm just hearing it echoing and echoing because like everybody's going to love it. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for this experience. Thank you so much for sharing. If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I also have two other YouTube channels. You can also find me at Abby Normal and at Zodiac Energy Readings. I'm also on Patreon at Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. So thank you again, and I hope you all have a great day.